Okay, so here we are today, taking Travis for a little walk. So I have a little Travis story. So, I pick up Mark at 3 o'clock from school. Because William's got to go to County Honor Band practice. County Honor Band, which William's played for Jordan, is practicing. And Mark has to work on his marimba. Ooh, check that out. Big old stink bug. Anyway, so I pick Mark up. We've got to go to Home Depot, pick up some tools. He's got to have his marimba done by Sunday night. He's in a panic. He's stressing. So anyway, we decide that we're going to grab a pizza on the way back, bring it back for dinner later. And so we go get the pizza. Oh, success. Look at that. That was quick. Uh, do you want to watch the whole thing? Um... Apparently, he's not camera shy. Hi, oh, Travis. He just pooped in front of a camera. He's high. Anyway, um, so we get the pizza. It takes, of course, forever. We get home. We come in the house. Hi, Louise. Louise is there. She's all happy. Travis, who usually will meet me right at the door, is nowhere to be found. Can't find him anywhere go to the I look under the bed and we look under the couches we look every place the sliding glass door is unlocked so we go hmm, maybe someone let him out so we search the entire ranch we go down to the big house I'm looking under the deck we're thinking because you know he's been sick well, maybe he got out there and his back thrown out and he couldn't get up and he's laying somewhere. So we check weed pot. We check everywhere. And I'm freaking out. And I'm pissed off. And now I'm like, oh my god, he's gone. Someone ran him over and then hid the body. Of course, you know, because that's what you think. You can't it. So, when I'm like in the house, I'm talking to Mark. I'm going, Mark, you can't get... I could have got out of the house. If someone let him out, he wouldn't have gotten far. He'd been waiting for us because it's 5 o'clock. It's dinner time. And if this dog knows anything, he knows when it's 5 o'clock. So, I'm like, let's look around one more time. So we're looking everywhere. We're opening doors. Going in the bedroom. And I'm like, just check the closet. So he checks the closet. Opens the closet door. Guess who's standing there looking at us? Yeah, you, Travis. 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 Hey, king of the wild. Sitting in there, not saying a thing, not saying a peep, not whining because he wants dinner, not going, hey, Dad, I'm in here. He usually barks when he wants to a door. He's just sitting waiting while we sit in panic. Little turd. Anyway, that's my Travis story for the day. Not much wildlife out because it's kind of late. And... So you just get to watch the dog sniffing. Come on, dog. Let's sniff. Oh, there's some birdies. Oh, I don't know if anyone's seen this before. This is... That is the original windmill that has been on the property. Uh, the tower was starting to rot, so we took it down. And of course, you know, one of these centuries, I'm going to build a tower, put the water well back in, so we have natural water. Natural water. I think all water is natural. We have water that we can get out of the well by just air power. Today it was a little breezy, we'd be getting a lot of it. So there you go. This is a tractor hooked on the back. This is a blower. So right now we still get these cold, humid mornings, so we have to put 
stuff in here and drive through the vineyard and blow the leaves so that they don't get mildew because we have a little bit of rain. Because mildew is a great killer. Yeah, so what else? What else do we need to know about? I don't think you've seen harvesters before. Those are the grape harvesters. I think you've seen that. So the vines go in here, right? This travels over the top of the vine. And there's these little fingers that come out and shake the heck out of the... They tickle the vines until they drop the grapes. And then the grapes go down the conveyor belts. Um, up the little ramp over across the next vine and then dump in a gondola which is towed by one of these little tractors I don't have any gondolas here and then the gondolas go and dump into the big truck which then goes to the winery which then makes it into wine which puts it on the shelf of the store, which then people buy, and then they drink, and then they say, ooh, good wine from Bordenau Vineyard. There's the piggy, there's the heifer. Weather's been crazy. It's like 80s during the day and 30s at night. Like a 50 degree change in the day. Not really great for the grapes. It's low growth, which then means late harvest, which then means chance of rain, chance of destruction of the vines. I don't think Levi is here. Levi was here earlier. But the kids, Mike's kids that live down at Camp Hobo, yeah, no, they take them, they take them for all the time for walks. Ooh, Travis goes. Something's over here. What's over here? What you smell, Trav? Yeah, that's just Levi. Come on. No, you don't need. There's nothing over there for you. Come on. So anyway, that's the tour. You've probably been tired of this tour. Maybe I'll come out later and get the sunset. There's Reno. Reno's already fed. So he's probably out scrounging. Yeah, he's way out there. have been living over around here. Must be living in that tree right there. Oh, one landed and one flew over. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. The cuckoo's nest being my brother's house. Ha! That was funny. I wonder if they're nesting up there. That little building that's behind that tree that was the original water tower where the windmill was at. And now the other crow landed in there. Where did they got a nest? I'll go check it out. Please don't look at my backyard, it is a stinking mess. Getting frustrated with people that make promises and don't deliver. I'll go see if they have a desk. Oh, he's right above me. 
Don't you dare drop something on me, Crow. Not a dive bomber. Flop. Oh, I see the hayfield. Hayfield shouldn't be any day now. He'll start cutting it. I'll make sure I get pictures of that. That's quite an interesting process. Yes, my yard's a mess. Mom's yard's a mess. Everything's a mess. I got kids that are busy and family members that are lazy. What can I say? Nobody does anything if you pay them. Unless you pay them. So here I am at the trees that they landed in. I don't see a nest. That was the tree they landed in. Yeah, we're getting ready to paint both the houses. I suggested red trim and white. But I think I'm going to lose. Alright, well. Don't really have much else. Show you. Oh, we go over here. Some wild poppies and some white flowers. We'll end on the. Pretty flower note.